A Texas death row inmate known as the Ice Pick Killer, who confessed to four murders and at least nine rapes, has been put to death. Danny Paul Bible was executed tonight by lethal injection for killing a woman in Houston nearly 40 years ago. Investigator Robert Arnold witnessed the execution. Danny Paul Bible gave no final statement. He was pronounced dead at 6.32 p.m. He was executed for the 1979 rape and murder of Inez Deaton. Deaton's family did not witness the execution. However, family members of three other people Bible murdered were in Huntsville and asked prison officials to read a statement on their behalf. Danny Paul Bible is as vile and evil a person that has ever drawn breath. We're glad to have witnessed him draw his last breath. I know that he will burn in hell for eternity. That statement was from the brother of Pamela Hudgens, who, along with another woman and a four-month-old boy, were murdered on the same day in 1983 in Palo Pinto County. Danny Paul Bible's crime spanned two decades in three states. However, it was the 1979 murder and rape of Inez Deaton that prompted a jury to give Bible the death penalty. Deaton was stabbed several times with an ice pick and left near a Houston bayou. Her crime remained unsolved for decades. Bible finally started talking in the late 90s after being convicted of raping a woman in Louisiana. He was finally convicted of Deaton's murder in 2003. He was also accused of robbery and sexually assaulting family members. Bible's attorneys argued his health was so poor that the measures it would take prison officials to find a usable vein would constitute cruel and unusual treatment. That appeal failed. There was no issue um, in any way, shape, or form with obtaining a vein. The prison van transporting Bible to death row in 2003 was hit in a head-on collision, killing a guard. Bible was also severely injured. In a final appeal, his attorneys argued his immobility from the injuries in that crash meant he was no longer a continuing danger and therefore not eligible for the death penalty. However, these logs of Bible's final hours provided to KPRC by the Texas Department of Criminal Justice do note Bible walking around in cell. Shortly after the execution began, Bible murmured the drugs burned. Reporting from Huntsville, Robert Arnold, KPRC, Channel 2 News.